time to let the light of light shine. Infinite is it, and you can see light at the end of the rainbow. And it's time to celebrate. And what I'm celebrating right now is Canada. Uh, the leaves of that tree, of its flag, is for the healing of the nations. And this is a marvelous time and an exciting time to be alive. And we need to reverse our curse together. And together, only together, we can if we will hear the word of the Lord resounding his love for one and all. And in this hour, I'm privileged to announce a, a very good happening has happened that will posture Canada above all nations into being the leading uh, light of the world as it has been foretold by the prophets. And part of this is because of a young man. He's got a YouTube video, uh, Chris McDonald. Uh, his, um, this is he. And uh, I'm going to let him say, uh, let him say hi there for a second. But he's from uh, Alberta, Canada. And uh, so make sure that you listen to this man because he has been anointed to tell you the truth and to help this world to move along in a place where we don't have to be destroyed, to move along to a new dimension, a new peak, a higher crescendo than uh, any place that we have ever been able to go to before. So it's time to uh, celebrate. And as we celebrate, um, it's this is amazing what I'm about to read you. Our star of stars, our star of Bethlehem, his light is shining and it is endless and it's beckoning us to move forward with the speed of light. And um, so know that the leaves of this tree, of the Canadian flag, has been foretold to, to take the lead. And as it was foretold, man's covenant with death has now been disannulled by the great white throne's judgment of the preparation of his peace, which he is now extending through me and through Chris of uh, Alberta and uh, disannulled also are all of our foolish past agreements with hell, which shall not stand. And as a great flood of hope comes forth from Canada, from a couple servants of the Lord who just want to see this world prosper because love can and will accomplish this miracle. And it's coming forth from Canada within these days that are just like Noah's days. So love from love and hope from hope. So it's time to celebrate the leaves of this tree and uh, get behind Canada's message of hope streaming forth from Alberta and from Ontario. Uh, because this is very biblical that it would definitely happen. God's vision, he says, don't wait, wait for it, carry. It will surely come. And it, me and Chris, we're just regular guys. Uh, the Bible says, uh, no man, there is no good man. No, not even one. I'm not out here claiming I'm a saint and neither is Chris. But we both have been around the block long enough to know that love transcends all of our imagination. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our prince thereof. And it's time to come up in faith so that you might also receive faith from faith and mercy from he whose mercy shall most definitely endure forever. And as this vision manifests, great shall be the cry eventually of at first millions and then billions as love finally turns back the battle at hell's gates 
just as Isaiah 28 foresaw. So blessed are the wise who are, might find themselves in a hole. The very first thing that they do is stop digging. And that is what we all must stop to do. And most blessed of all are all trailblazers of love, for they alone do not go where unloving paths might lead. Instead, they always go to where there is no path, so they can leave behind them a trail of their most fiery passion behind them. And as it was foreseen in the book of, by the prophet Ezekiel, in these days with spiritual eyes to see, Many may behold a great whirlwind coming out of the north, uh, according to the Spirit, and it is the north of the maple leaf. For as the Lord pours out his most passionate love and peace over all people, of all people, as he does that, something miraculous is happening upon earth. And it's, it's happening in such a way that we will be astounded. And so a great whirlwind is foretold to come forth out of the north. Uh, so that uh, over all the world, the Lord will sh overflow his adoration. And it will become like a great bright white cloud blazing with an inner fire enfolding itself. And a brightness round about as the amber, as the color of amber. And out of the midst of that fiery fire of love's great inferno of blessedness, that will finally begin reversing Babylon's curse so that man might live together in peace. So let the wise know that it's very clear uh, in Jeremiah 51, the prophet predicted that in these last days, both heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall begin singing songs of celebration for love's great white harvest. For as it is written, the Lord has foretold that his end time spoilers uh, shall come against Babylon's disunity from the great white north, saith the Lord God Almighty. Nor should anyone ever doubt the famous Canadian prophecy concerning Azusa Street from the uh, California and Smith Wigglesworth uh, in Canada because during those days it was declared jointly uh, by those ministries that Canada would most definitely be held in a very special end time work that would be triggering forth a huge spiritual wave of hope that would become like a great tsunami of love all over the world. And Wigglesworth said by that spirit of truth that the resulting last revival of love, hallelujah, during the harvest thereof would become a hundred times greater than all past revivals combined. And that once that revival of love peaks, that it would never ever stop until the Lord finally returns to officially rule over his most glorious kingdom of love for our golden age of the lion and the lamb. And as Isaiah 41 predicted for these latter days of Daniel 12's uh, latter days of the scientific explosion, the wise might also begin shining as the sun if they're willing to reflect the Lord's brightest light of love. Uh, and as it's accurately foretold by Isaiah, the world's transforming Elijah task of love Love's kingdom age changes uh, coming from people like myself and Chris are finally being preached from the north of our circle of earth as Chris McDonald of Alberta, Canada manifests that word's prophecy by unifying his efforts together with other messages of love. He's right. We need to start collaborating with one another so that we can touch this world in the, the most special way that it can be. And uh, praise the Lord that as Chris unites with this channel in the objective of spreading love within our loveless world, both he and I, uh, both of us, will constantly uh, be trying our hardest. And in our own ways, we're both constantly crying out day and night unto he 
who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. And so shall it be, saith the Lord God, that uh, the love that, that is being preached by our two channels, um, uh, his channel is called, uh, check it out, it's called Love, A Light, Red Ruddy. And uh, the message of love alone will eventually become as mortar that will cover all the rulers of the earth as if they were bricks, according to prophecy. And by our Lord's spirit of prophecy, know that the end time event of love's latter day Canadian leadership has finally happened since the word of love that both Chris and I are preaching is both 100% unconditional, meaning that God loves us unconditionally and all of our sin is is forgiven except the unforgivable sin it's time to get rid of our shame and our guilt as isaiah 25 predicts in the latter days upon the latter days uh the latter day mountain of the lord and so it's time that we begin to let our own love flow again as if we were little children and as chris chris preaches from alberta and and I from Windsor, I'm not sure if he lives in Calgary, but uh, he mentioned that at one point. One thing's for sure, the very same divine love that we both are preaching either together or separately will always be a win-win situation because love just cannot lose. It is impossible. Even at the end of the most miserable day, all things work together for good for all those made in the image of God's glory. And as Smith Wigglesworth vision finally begins, both Chris and I shall be doing our very best in presenting the Lord's love in, in a, hopefully a powerful way so that love can become like a razor blade by the Spirit. And he shall cut through many fleshy hearts uh, right out of their former rock-hard stone. And as our love's unified message intensifies uh, from both Ontario and Alberta, so shall it be that the Lord's greatest messages of love's hope shall become like mighty tempests of hail uh, and destroying storms to pull down all shallow imaginations of his love's bottomless, deepest depths that are truly unfathomable because there is no end to his love nor was there any beginning because the truth is he loved us long before we ever loved him and with the very same vision as uh, John Lennon had a world awaiting the brotherhood of love uh, we also believe Chris and I that the world can finally be one because the truth are we already are and we just do not realize it and in this hour, I, I stand in total agree, agreeance with my new uh, friend, Chris, that love alone can and will reverse mankind's very worst curses. And the curse of Babylon has been with us since the beginning. That is the curse that shall be defeated as Malachi's conditional curse is overturned because the battle will be turned back at the gates of hell, I promise you. And know that these are the days for the Lord to use his Canadian messengers of love to release uh, heaven's floodgates so that our majesty of majesties with his very own nail-scarred hand can cast down to earth his mightiest flood of his transforming living waters of love. And it shall be utterly impossible to stop such miraculous water. It ain't going to happen. In the natural, it is written that the Lord once said, say to a torrent, to a flood, to stop in the middle of a gorge, it will not obey you. Only God knows where such a force of power would go. And uh, it would uproot all the trees in the valley. You cannot stop that which is impossible to stop. And a, 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 a love fire burning over this earth because these are the days of the refiner's fire, the great uh, uh, trial of all flesh, Revelation 3, has come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of our temptation not to change. 
And so know that as the fluttering dove of love inspired Chris McDonald of Alberta, the most wriggle eagle of the eons, had him to mount up on eagle's wings so Chris could ascend high enough by the spirit of love, hope, and peace that he could finally fully understand uh, how to tell multitudes truthfully that we're presented uh, challenges every day challenges to help us grow and to mature on our path of ascension. So Chris Rice rightly says that ascension is raising our consciousness and letting go of everything that no longer serves our best interests and our high, highest purposes. And Chris says, for we must learn uh, to, to clean out and clear away that stagnant energy that's building up in our inner spaces, uh, our, our own oppression. And because uh, we don't want to get possessed with bad attitudes. So Chris says that, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time in areas and we must not become stagnant. We need to be refreshed. So he says each place holds our energy uh, that we create. We do create energy, whether it's good or bad. We either see everything as a miracle or nothing at all. Seems to be no middle ground. But it, it, he says that if we repeatedly bring in low forms of frequencies without clearing that grunge, that energy, that frequency, vibrations build up. And he says it's like wearing a pair of uh, stinky socks over and over again without washing them. They can begin to feel thick, heavy, and uncomfortable. And they can that can be constraining to our natural ability of growth or maturity. Uh, waking up every day, Chris says, we need to provide ourselves with protection that only love can provide. And we have to learn uh, to know how to keep our energy, uh, the good energy, uh, instead of letting others take it from us so that we have to let our love to cast away all of our useless fears that keeps people so oppressed. And he added that every evening before falling asleep, we need to set our intentions to wake up on our highest timeline, setting intentions to be clear and concise, to be conscious in every waking moment, Chris says, to shine our brightest. Uh, it is true, and he says, we are dark and we are light. There is no good man, no, not even one, Romans 3.10. I'm saying that part. But Chris says that we have the power to merge the two into being one and without feeling condemnation and guilt all of our lives. And such a divine trans transition, transformation, it almost has come to the point of losing its impact if people seek not Christ's word of peace. But for those with eyes to see, if they will just look up in the spirit, uh, they may finally behold the beautiful pearly gates door standing wide open in heaven as the glorious seventh trumpet of love's strongest unity from Revelation 10.7 as foretold, as it sounds off like a beautiful harmony and melody, dancing together like a kite, dancing in the most blessed winds of love and hope's utter blessedness. For these are the days when God's glory, through people like Chris and myself, people like Chias of House of Beloved, uh, and through the Jenny Weavers of the world, the prophetic songstress, and through Joanne McFadder, people of love. All, we should not be opposed to one another. We're all in, in this together. And if we want what's right in this world, it's time we stand up for love and salute it. And so know that these are the days of God's gl glory that will cover the earth as waters cover the sea, as grass cover the land, lands, and as even as sand covers the most desolate of deserts. His glory and his honor the power, the, the dominion shall never end. And it will, uh, his uh, honor, power, and might of his love's everlasting forgiveness shall evermore be covering his heavens 
like the stars, while his mercy covers over all of his faithful few, like lilies covering the ponds, and like snow covering the mountain peaks. And then all people can shine as the sun, by the Lord's word shining like his brightest smile, by his spirit of prophecy flowing through his beloved. So blessed are all those walking in the faith of love's most peaceful peace, for the wind of bliss shall always be at all of our back if we're going towards the right direction of love as a great tide of flowing blessings uh, moves us along in the right directions. And as our glorious sun of love radiantly shines his most loving warmth upon our faces, let us celebrate, let the great jubilee begin. So let all loving souls of our majesty of majesties now inherit golden days of love's greatest glory, exactly as that carpenter of the ages spirit of prophecy has predicted in Joel 2.28 for these latter days when he who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored is finally pouring out his love on all flesh from Canada, uh, from the north, as it has been foretold. And if it's not, uh, if Canada is not the north, then I guess it would have to be Russia. But I would think that nobody, it's a safe bet, that nobody's thinking there's any good peaceful messages coming from Russia these days. And so it's time to understand that uh, through two Canadian YouTube channels, uh, the absolute truth is finally being published that entering into days of Eliza simply means we finally come to the place where a destiny of peace can be activated because the Lord is telling all the world, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever even need to be taught of me, saith the Lord God Almighty. For all people of love, moving forth as a child, know me. Because the Lord says, those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love, First John 4, 7. And as Chris preaches like Elisha, uh, with a double anointing of love's greatest hope, uh, it shall become most evident for all the world to learn from Chris that these are also the day, long-awaited days of the vision of change, the vision of Habakkuk 2. The, the vision was written for the appointed time at the end, and God has promised, it shall come, and it is here now. And so praise the Lord that all divine promises shall soon come forth as great potential finally becomes understood and the climax of the centuries is upon us. Can you dig it? I hope you can. So do yourself a favor, look in, and when you see yourself smiling in the other end, then you know that only our star of stars could help bring forth that miracle. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I was a young guy, I don't even know how I made it. I should have died several times. But he's always been most faithful. And I attest to that, and so does Chris. So love from love, hope from hope. And tune in to that man from uh, Alberta. You will not be sorry. Later now. Ciao.